being born here, it's just kind of like the lottery of the womb. And they lost out on it and they were born somewhere with zero access to education, opportunities, resources, everything was extremely limited for them. They're not expecting much out of themselves. They don't know if you're going to hold up to these promises. My vision for these children has been evolving ever since I've joined. So the first three months it was completely focused on literacy. In terms of data, I had students who had five years of growth. Kids who were reading at kindergarten level were suddenly reading at third grade, fourth grade level. They were moving at a really fast pace and I just kept thinking, what next? Fine, they can read, they can speak, but how much do they understand? How much can they think critically? What can they do on their own? How brave are they in front of other people? It was just something which was evolving, being with them. It was consciously not planned. I just see change happen and it makes me want to go back and redraw what I want from them. I started telling my students about my vision right when I joined. And I make sure I tell the students that I'm here to make this happen and you're here to make sure that I do my job. I hold myself accountable to that vision and I ask them to hold themselves accountable too. So if we both take responsibility for that vision, that is the time where we can actually achieve something. I saw a lot of change in them when I was pushing them. But the question was always, would they push themselves when I'm not there? Would they have that much curiosity to learn regardless of a teacher being in the classroom or not? I started to ask them to not listen to me all the time because I wanted to emphasize on the fact that you think for yourself, you form your own opinion, you don't have to listen to me. That was the kind of independence I wanted because it's extremely crucial for them to be responsible for their own learning. They don't look for me on everything. They don't look to me for answers. If they're confused about something, they just walk up, pick out an encyclopedia and they start looking for the answer. So they know that they can handle things on their own, which is something I've been seeing every day in the classroom. I always thought that, okay, you have measurable goals and you have defined limits. But going into the classroom, I saw that, that that's not true. The sense of possibility exists. And I was a person who had limits defined, but I actually saw them show me that anything is really possible. If you really work hard, if you persevere, there's nothing that can stop you from achieving what you want. They have crossed all limits and they've really redefined limits for me. So if I were to go back, I would just tell myself to not limit my own thinking and probably broaden my own expectations from them.